So good day to everyone. Uh, this is Teacher Jonathan Odigisman. So one of my friends asked me to for help for his sense assignment about these three topics: PM Das, GCF, LCM. So this is elementary mathematics. So he asked me to create a simple tutorial for to and to give at least one example for each of these three topics. So let's start now. Starting with PM just P stands for parentheses and M stands for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. So we have PM just rules. So starting from left to right of numerical sentence, solve parentheses first followed by multiplication or division and then addition or subtraction now let us try to apply these rules for an example for a PM test suppose we have a numerical sentence here we have 10 plus 3 quantity 16 divided by 4 minus 9 now as you can see we have parentheses here Meaning to say, we have to solve first this 16 divided by 4 first. Okay, that P stands for parentheses. So if we divide 16 by 4, we'll get a quotient of 4. And for this time, the next process is to get the product, or we should I say, multiply 3 and 4 first for adding 10 and minus 9. Okay, so. So 3 times 4 will give you a product of 12 and the next step is to add 10 and 12 and that will give you a total of 22 for the last step get the difference or just subtract 22 by 9 and the difference will be 13 and this will be the final answer for this problem Now let's proceed to GCF. GCF stands for greatest common factor. So we have example of GCF. Let's find the GCF of 12, 16, and 20. Rule number one, list all the factors of each given numbers using prime factorization method. So we have to get the prime factorization for 12, 16, and 20. Now let's start with 12. 12 can have factors of 1 and 12 because 1 times 12 is 12 obviously. And 12 can be the product can be a product of 2 and 6. Now as you can see, uh, we still needed to get the prime factorization of 6. So this is still not yet a prime number. So we could have 2 multiplied by 3. And there you have it. I think this will be the final. And we have 1, 2, 2, and 3 as the prime factorization of 12. Now let's proceed to 16. 16 can be a product of 1 and 16. And 16 can be a product of 2 and 8. And 8 can be a product of 2 and 4 and 4 can be a product of 2 and another 2 so we can now list all the prime factorization of 16 right so now we could proceed to the last one which is 20 20 can be product of factors 20, 20 and 1 and 20 can be product of 2 and 10 and 10 can be a product of 2 and 5 so we can now select all the prime factorization or the prime numbers or the, should I say the prime factors of 20 so we have 1 times 2 times 2 times 5 so I guess we can now proceed to the next step rule number 2 identify their common factors we have to list all their prime factorizations so there you have it for 12 16 and 20 now we can now identify the common factors. We have 1, 2, 
and another two all right so never mind three two two five here so they do not belong to their common factors of 12 16 and 20. now let's proceed to rule number three multiply their common factors if needed okay so there are some instances that the two given numbers has no uh, common factors except for one but this time i think we have three so we can list all them all of them here so we have one multiplied by two multiplied by two and that will give you a product of four so four will be our greatest count factor for 12 16 and 20. so there you have it now this time let's proceed to lcm or least common multiple example of lcm so we have here find the lcm of 12 16 and 20. so same as true with the gcf earlier so we could also use the prime factorization method so for 12 so this is this was our example really earlier so we I, th I don't need to discuss this now because you can go back <laughs> to the time or example we had for GCF so same as true we have 1 2 2 and 3 and for 16 so we could just click and click here so we have the prime factor station 16 okay, so there you have it and for 20 this is the same with the with our examples a while ago so those squared numbers or circles should i say <laughs> are the prime factorization so rule number two is the same with the gcf but this time we have the non-common factors so identify their common factors as well as their non-common factors all right so these are their common factors and these are the non-common factors of 12, 16, 20. So the difference of LCM and GCF is that for rule number three. Multiply the common and non-common factors. Okay, so these are the non-common and common factors. So these are the common factors and these are the non-common factors of 12, 16, and 20. So all we have to do is bring them down like this one so we have the common factor one common factor two common factor two again non-common factor three non-common factor two non-common factor two and non-common factor five then the next step is you just needed to multiply all of these numbers or all of these factors should i say and that will give you 240 as the lcm I think this will be the final answer for this one. Okay, so I think that's all for today for about PM test GCF and LCM. I hope uh, you learned something from me today. Thank you so much and have a nice day, everyone.